just a second. Okay, this is part five, I believe, of what if Deku had solo leveling. Okay, now we go to the entrance exam. When Deku is there, he's confident. He is, at this point, he's only level 51 or just a bit higher because he might have done a bit of extra training. Just a second. Okay, sorry about that. My brother uh, kept messing with me. Anyway, I'm back outside. So, we're at the entrance exam. Deku is very confident in his ability to get the highest. At this point, I don't know if I said this, but Deku's at least 80. Give me a second. Okay, I've been trying to do this video for half an hour. My brother keeps messing with me. It's an entrance exam. Deku's confident. He's walking up the stairs. He does not need Oraka. Or how do you pronounce it? Oraka? Oraka. She, uh, he does not need her. He's walking up the stairs very confidently. He's basically wearing what you see in this picture. Uh, a hoodie and some sweatpants. He does have bandages over his arms. Not from injuries, but just because... That morning he had went to his uh, martial arts class. If you hear anything in the background, it's my brother. Because he doesn't know how to stop messing with me. Anyway, uh, the, the, uh, the test. Deku, his intelligence is very high. Uh, not only did he study, but his stat for intelligence is really high. So I say he got first place. Easy. He, he's most likely the f he was the first person to finish the test, actually. Next, we have the practical exam, I believe. Deku is uh, stretching. He's over here stretching. Bakugo, when, he when she sees that Deku sat next to her during the, uh, like, the expl ex explanation part of the thing, like how much the wor robots are worth and all that, she was angry. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned this, but since Bakugo did so well against the Sludge Villain, All Might gave her the quirk. I don't know if I said this or not. Deku is most likely, he's probably 85% of All Might in his prime. So he's already, he's either equal or stronger than All Might in this story equal or stronger than All Might. Anyway, Deku, uh, after that, Deku, during the exam, he's stretching. and He gets in a running position. The moment that they say that the version of Mike, or, yeah, Mike, says start, he activates his skill, sprint. He runs. No one can even see where he is. People were very surprised. People that saw him, that it was a guy, were surprised that he had a quirk in the first place. And he was fast. He was gone. He's over 10 times faster than Ida. He uh, immediately, when he gets out there, he destroys a one pointer, two two pointers, and five three pointers. So he's already racked up quite uh, a few points, but then he stops sprinting. He stops in the middle, and out of and out of nowhere, everyone's staring at him. They're just thinking, "Why did he stop?" And they just see this the dark shadows arise from the ground. They see these knights with swords coming out of the ground, and they and they they're all surprised. They think he has two quirks. Right after, uh, and they all think that they need to start going, but in that instant when they think they need to start going, the knights are already gone. They're destroying robots to get points. We skip to the zero pointer. Deku can hear the zero pointer when it's coming, but he doesn't care because it's not worth any points, so he's just grabbing the points. Then he hears a girl scream. At this point, Deku's thinking whether or not he, he should go save her, but he sees everyone's running away. He's thinking to himself, how do they expect to be heroes if they can't save one person? In that instant, Deku 
threw his knife in the air as high as he could and pulled himself up using his, I believe it's called uh, determination's touch. He uses that to pull himself up by grabbing the head of the robot and pulling himself up. And then he grabs his dagger, which no one saw him with a dagger. They think that he might have snuck that weapon in there. But as soon as he grabs it, he cuts the robot immediately pierces it like butter. And then in that instant, the dagger disappears because he put it up and he starts ripping the head of the robot apart. And when yeah, the head is completely destroyed at this point, Deku jumps down and then uses his determination's touch to soften the blow by grabbing one of the, uh, or grabbing onto the side of a building so he wouldn't hit the ground. Deku has, at this point, already called off his knights. They have returned to the Shadow Realm, basically. Deku gets first place. All the teachers are surprised that he has a quirk in general, but not only that, they think he has multiple quirks. All Might at this point is thinking, because she's there watching, she thinks that uh, a quirk like that, strength, speed, can materialize weapons, can make uh, like these dark knights, they think like the dark knights is like a villainous quirk. And they see it as multiple quirks. All Might is immediately thinking, could he be working with all for one? And All Might starts remembering uh, the green, he sees the, she sees the green hair and starts thinking, is that the boy that didn't have a quirk? And then she immediately, like I said, starts thinking that he could be working with all for one, but he hasn't done anything bad, so they don't go after him. And of course he's not. And then he gets first place. We skip to when he gets to the, well, he gets the letter. Him and his mom are very happy. Deku, because he's so happy, uh, decides that he will just relax for the next couple of days. Besides doing the daily quest, because he has to do that, unless he wants to run for three or four hours straight. But he goes to class one and the next day. Everybody's staring at him. Baku goes ready to attack. Deku at this point, uh, I'll say I believe he has, yeah, he has this the the room that can make him go invisible. And the and in the novel, the way the guy got this is he he uh, defeated an assassin person that was out to kill people. He defeated them. He defeated him by killing him, and he got that ability. This time, he was in a dungeon, and he fought a monster that was like an assassin that had this ability. And he killed it, and he got that ability. So when Bakugo, uh, Aizawa is still in his, in her seat, sleeping bag, like behind the desk. She's not paying attention whatsoever. Bakugo goes to attack Deku. In that moment, Deku disappears, everyone thinking, where, where is he? And then they just see him appear behind Bakugo, and he ch and Deku chops her in the back of the neck, and she passes out. Everyone is instantly surprised. Surprised, they think that he moves so fast, because he can move it fast, but he just went invisible. That no one was able to see him, and he chopped her in the back of the neck. Deku still has his bandages on, by the way, because he still has his on, because well. He went to his martial arts class because he's taking martial arts so he can fight. He has pr plenty of experience fighting. We get to the test. By the way, I don't know if I said this. During the novel, if someone shows extreme bloodless or the they want to kill you, you have to kill them. During this, we're not having that. I think I already said this, but Deku will only have to defeat them or if he can outshine their bloodlust with his. He doesn't have to do anything but defeat them. And this, when we get to the test, I believe the first one is the throwing. They had, it was Bakugo because he got first, but in this one, it was Deku got first, so he goes and throws the ball. He immediately, uh, he immediately 
gets enough to run the position with the ball. And he activates determination touch. So when he throws it, he pushes even further with the determination touch. Getting, I say, since he's so strong, he's even he's close to all might in her prime. He's probably I don't know what all might got. So a th two thousand five hundred. Everyone is shocked. We skip the test. Deku gets first in all of them except the ball throw because Oraka got infinity. Uh, we leave school the next. We leave. We're leaving that off for now. Uh, bye.